You're still watching Ways. Now, March 13 is National Good Samaritan Day. It recognizes the unselfish actions of those who provide help when needed. The day is also known as Good Samaritan Involvement Day and celebrates kindness in all its form. So make an effort to help someone who is struggling or having a problem today. Mm. Mm -hmm. I think we should be a good Samaritan every yeah, day. Yeah, every day should be a good Samaritan. I like that. That's but trust me, eh, there's a difference between helping someone in need and continuing to, what's it called, um, feel the business of these beggars on the road. Because I feel begging has become a big, it's not like it has become. It's commercial. It is it a is huge a commercial business. Yeah. So how we are, uh, what's it called, um, fueling that business by continuously giving, you know, it would never stop. I was driving on Ade Tokumbo just now, coming to the studio, and I saw some women. They would sit down by the corner with packs of have food, those, eating, yes. and they would have tiny, children. tiny children sending them it out. It breaks my heart. I think, you know, children I think they, this school. begging has, it has killed any, any, any strand of, uh, what's it called? Empathy. Giving yes, yeah. that I have, because it I irritates know. me. I don't know how I feel. That said, there are lots of people out there who really need your help. Because these people are now, they are now, what's it called? They are now, um, they are... Monetizing they are, it. Not even that. They are, <laughs> they, are, they, are, they are cutting the the chances that these other people have. Yeah, yeah. You know, I see a woman all the time on, um, on Ozumba in the evening. She holds a Bible. And back a baby, okay. like she's going to church. She wants to just so apparently bed. they rent Come kids on. as well. Oh my! So, so it, I think this good Samaritan thing is dead because mm -hmm. a lot of people, mm -hmm. you know, they've turned uh, giving. They abused into, it. They've abused Ab it. Sure. Let's That's move on, Joe. All right. So today, what did you find for us in your story? Okay, um, my story is coming out of America. Um, it's on coronavirus. Um, I think all our stories, all our stories are, are, yes, are on absolutely. corona it's, it's pandemic territory now. It's, it's really serious stuff, right? And so Rudy Gobert um, is an NBA star. Um, he's the All-Star Center for Utah Jazz, and he's the first NBA star um, to test positive to corona. And why is this news? It's news because he made a huge jest of the whole thing. So they had a march, um, a match, sorry, they came out um, to the press briefing. So, you know, after like a sporting game, you're talking to the press mm -hmm. and somebody was talking about coronavirus and he started laughing and was touching all the surfaces, yeah. touching the microphone, like laughing, like, yeah, coronavirus, touching, went to the locker room, touching everything. And 48 hours after, he tested positive. And I think three of his... Soon after, exactly. So my point is, he was infected at the time. And from what we know about coronavirus, right, there are so many gray areas, but we know it's asymptomatic. So you could have it and not know it yes. and, you know, infect people. And he's done exactly that. And the NBA had to actually suspend the entire league, you know? So everybody needs to take this thing seriously. Like... Screening. I saw the video because he he had he had stood up and he was about to leave. Yes, he came and then back, he came back and to just touch and, and even everybody. the reporters themselves they were laughing. They were laughing about you know? it. So you even know? they themselves serious. too. I it's mean, really, we need to take. I would have just left the mic there. Say okay, you, you know what? Yeah. <laughs> you know, and I'm glad that you know. Premier League, um, Formula One, everybody's taking this thing seriously. Containment is not working for coronavirus, okay? So social distancing, let's be serious. What you know, I, I spoke to my sister yesterday. Just, yes. They live in Europe. So mm -hmm. because of the, the state of Italy right now, the president of France has called on, so today would be the last day for all school activities, shut down for the next three weeks. It's worth You're not it. going to school, nothing. It's totally So, you know, it's it. very important that, because you don't know who has it. Yes. Like exactly. Yeah, Faith, so what's your story? So mine is, it's a bit on the, <clears throat> it's a bit funny, and I'm not trying to like make a joke of this corona thing, but um, a gentleman traveled to Ghana, and allegedly a Caucasian man um, coughed. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> coughed on. Are you on coughing the right now? <laughs> No, I'm coughing because it's funny. Okay. So he coughed on the plane and they were quick to notify the necessary parties that, um, excuse me, we think someone Somebody over here has, <laughs> has, has uh, corona. So when they got off, a security man in Ghana was now like, um, we heard someone who was coughing, <laughs> who was coughing on the plane and they immediately pointed at him. Like, 
he coughed. What is this? So like people are really people are really taking the fear of corona is, is making people <laughs> take yes. yes like people are taking my, this thing seriously. You dare not sneeze. Oh, no, no, you dare not. Even my sister's bosses actually they are Caucasians as well. They went to um, computer village. Oh Lord, no! You need to see the way people were chasing them. Um, they called the Lagos <laughs> State. No, um, health. Yes, they, were they coughing or anything? Nothing. They just, just saw Chinese no, people and they started on. chasing. Now that's that's, 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 that's stigmatization. No, but it's happening no, in the it's, US. It's happening in because the US. they said that okay. Yes, the stock market has gone down because of Corona, but also in every country that has like Chinatown, so mm -hmm. a little community that has a lot of Asian people, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. they've also lost sales because nobody's That's trying yeah. to. They've yeah. shut down their businesses. Yeah. I was watching mm -hmm. CNN and one of the businesses, he's been there for four decades. Mm -hmm. He had to shut down his restaurant and nobody was nobody coming trying in. Nobody's trying to eat Chinese food. I mean, you nobody's know? eating Chinese mm -hmm. food. Like at ShopRite, I was at ShopRite yesterday and people were really keeping their distance. <laughs> of course. <laughs> Of course, yeah, it's very important. This life is too short. So yeah. my story is on, on another light note. You know, it was taken from a tweet that caught our eyes. You know, that Punch tweeted by I think um, someone called Doctor Max Max Vesia. <laughs> Max Vesia. Oh my! So, of course, praise God. Um, they said in Nigeria, that's the breaking news. Um, the Nigerian who tested um, positive mm -hmm. for coronavirus now is now negative. Now this man now comes to say. And nothing <laughs> survives <laughs> here. Not dreams, not no, viruses. No. Come on. Oh. Nigeria, I hail you. Oh, you oh know? <laughs> like, even the virus could oh, not dear. survive like, like, in this country. Really? No. I'll yeah, pass. I'll pass. <laughs> I but, think I'm better off in Europe and where they will take me. Take seriously. <laughs> no, but you know, we really need the comic relief. In yeah, we do. Like, things are so tough. Like, if we're not laughing, we'll literally be pulling out our hair. Yeah, and I'm know. just, Absolutely. I'm so happy that this thing is not spiraling out of control here. Mm -hmm. Like, we don't really know because I don't know if people that have it are going to the hospital or whatever. I know, right? But, so they're doing screening. You know, and screening is different from testing. Yes. Absolutely. You know, so you have just, to really test. Oh, yes. You know, so <laughs> even part of the part of the measures in, in Italy right now is that they have military on the road. They said wow. if you are coming out of your house, if it's not a life and death situation, they are going they to go back. They're gone. Go back home. No, but it's necessary. That is like, how you know, because you know really their culture there. Italy. And I told my sister, you know their culture, they kiss a lot. So somebody yeah. was saying that it's possible oh that you know because if to greet you on the cheek and oh, all of yeah. that. So maybe that's why the number just. You and they have a lot um, of elderly people. Well. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. All right, so that's all we can take on what's in the news. Our first guest, Tosin Ajibadi, popularly called Olori Supergirl, will join us right after this break. Please stay with us. <laughs> 